So I seen a um seen a video about um they were talking about Young Thug and they were saying um a lot of people were saying that it's messed up that he's getting arrested and the cops is using his lyrics against him. And I'm like, why do people feel sorry for him? Because at the end of the day, it's like you do stupid things, you win stupid prizes. Like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't get it. If you, if, if, if you're stupid enough to rap about what you are actually doing in your lyrics, then I, I feel like there's an agenda going on to basically make crime skyrocket with this whole defund the police. And it's like, what does defund the police really mean? So, I, I mean, I don't know. All that, all that right there is like, huh? Defund the police because of what? Like, and then it's like places like here, you don't see like as much pro police brutality going on here as you do other places, you know, like in some of these racist, you know, white states and all that that's predominantly white. But my thing is you say defund the police and then when the sky, when the, the crime, the crime rate skyrockets. It's like now I need the police. <laughs> like I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Defund the police is not just that, but like, like, like for example, the priests out here right now, they got, they got artillery, like an army. They got tanks, that boot cars, stuff like that. Who's shooting at police out here? I mean, I don't never. I don't never see those those things. It's what I'm saying, but I'm not saying they use them. I'm saying yeah. that's my point. They have them. That means somebody. That means the city pay for them. Yeah. And they sit in somewhere in the warehouse somewhere. Yeah. For some secret war that's supposed to happen in some <laughs> town, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> you know, or oh, oh, just in case, like people yeah. start waking up and start uprising. Okay. They can put them in line. <laughs> I guess so. You see the robots? I see the robots. Yeah. But my thing is, you guys, like, the police get a budget every year, and it's like, where's this, what is this money being spent on? So, it's like, when people say defund the police, it's like, we don't know what they actually talking about when they say, um, what what's going to get cut? Because at the end of the day, you're still going to see the same amount of police officers out on the street. You know? But, I mean, I brought that up because I'm driving, well, I was in the Uber one day and um, I'm going down Utica and I look at somebody's window and it says defund the police. And, you know, just like I've seen a lot of racist white people Carrying Black Lives Matter signs, <laughs> like you know, like it, it was crazy. Like during the pandemic, like somebody asked me, "How do I feel about the cultural awakening?" And I said, "You mean the boredom that's going on? Because people are just going to these protests right now because they're bored. And as soon as stuff started opening back up, there wasn't that many people at them protests." Yeah, but they also was dying down because stuff was happening. Like, like for example, the riots. You can see the riots videos. Like, some of the cops were destroying their own cars. You feel me? They was throwing about, they throwing um bricks into windows and stuff like that to make it seem like mm. protesters was doing it. Mm. Plus, other groups was doing it to think, make it seem like other groups was doing stuff. It's crazy. And you know that's why Black Lives Matter like don't even exist right now. You feel yeah. me? Because like, and people think it's towards other groups of people, but yeah. really. I, and I see not say Black Lives Matter on my post. Yeah. It's it's for all Black people, you know. All yeah. our lives matter. Like for me, all like we all need to just combine ourselves. For me, like I don't eat Spanish food no more. I don't eat Chinese food no more. You feel me? Yeah. Like and like you know, if I'm on a taco, I'm gonna make it myself. You feel me? Like 
it's just it don't make sense to give these people our money and if we have a store, they're not gonna buy the same stuff from us. You know, so I just I'd rather stop this and that. I and I'd rather I can't force other people to do it, but I can do it myself. I understand that. But I don't know, right? I feel like a whole bunch of people made money from this whole Black Lives Matter campaign. Um they had a the, they had a website up, a Black Lives Matter website. And somebody actually traced like the the like where these funds is going and it was going back to a whole bunch of Democrats. That's like works for like the Senate. I could believe that. I could believe that. Cause yeah. like they they take over everything. Like for example, Juneteenth. Yeah. Um Juneteenth um last year, it was a, a Caucasian person that was selling Juneteenth merchandise, like mm-hmm. sauce and flour, like this stuff with Juneteenth on it. Mm-hmm. And people were just like, you're not African, you nothing, like, you know, nothing mm-hmm. in our culture. Like, for me, it's like you're perpetrating that you're cultural culture. You got to say that again, because you said like you know, too many times. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, but like, um, it's cultural trend when people um, perpet- perpetrate, um, our culture and certain things like how the Juneteenth was. And like, and, um, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna actually look for that and actually co- post it and put it up to s- show people what I'm talking about. But like, it's just, it's just crazy how, like, we don't, um, we don't gain nothing from our stuff, like, even in movies, TV shows, we don't gain nothing. Zombies is uh, is is part of Haitian culture, but yet it's it's portrayed in a, a different light, you know. And it's like they take everything and and like thinking about thinking about ancestors, like you know, and putting them in museums. It's just, it's just so crazy how they just take everything from us. And like we don't have a we don't have a country. Africa is like a hundred certain countries at one. How? But every other every, 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 every place got. Um, every other continent either got one country or it's split between two countries or something like that. You know, that control everything. You know, and if you really think about it, we got America. America, the whole North America is America. You know, yeah. You know, even some of South America is America. You know, in Central America is, is America. You know, how Britain, how how England own land over here in the Bahamas. You know, like you know. Like uh, how the Bahamas, like, yeah. I feel like Africa is the only place where so many people have a part of it. Like, um, UK, the UK owns most of Africa, and China. Last time I checked, China owned fifteen percent. So when I see people like Acorn out there building it up, but He's working with China to build it up. It's like, but you, I feel like you're giving them more power, more control. I, I don't have a problem. Like, I know, I don't know the Chinese culture as much as I know the Japanese culture. Cause I know, like, I know Japanese women don't have a problem with black men. You feel me? They actually look at them as protectors. You feel me? You know, which is bad because, like, we're not an animal and no shit like that. But, like, you know, but I don't know about the Chinese culture, but, like, if we know history, Chinese culture been around for so long and like they even had parts, they were interacting with Egypt and, and, um, and they used to call the Hittos. Mm-hmm. So like, so they even had, um, dynasties and stuff like that in Egypt and stuff like that. So I don't mind them because like, it, there's a lot of Chinese people that start skin. You feel me? You don't see them on TV, you yeah. know, but if you go to China, you will see them. Yeah. They got a whole tribe of dark skinned Chinese people. Like, like you will see them. So like, I don't have a problem with Chinese people. You feel me? Because like they so they so different and unique, just like how we are different and unique. You feel me? Like, well, my thing is with them, a lot of them are still racist. Yeah, of course. So China is overpopulated, and when they look at Africa, Africa when something comes out, they always want to test it. Okay. On African people oh, first, yeah, like we animals, and I don't, I don't like that. You know, so 
I I I think that they have a plan going on, and I'm just I'm just not with it. Yeah, it's, it's but it's not just one plan. It's, it's several plans, and it's like like these families that control the world, mm-hmm. like um, like they they have. Five year plans. They have ten year plans. They got twenty year plans. They got plans of when they not here no more. Like so, so when they, they kids is taking over now. Then they kids kids don't take over now. So a plan now. Um, the Rockefellers, like um, John D. Rockefeller plan back then was probably just coming to fruition. You feel me? And like you know, you could call it a prophecy or, or, or whatever, whatever. But like. It's several quotes that he had. I'm actually trying to put them up right now. Of, of some of his quotes. I feel like they use black people to gain the trust of others. They gain the, they, like Jay Z, Duce. The plan for Duce was okay, you promote it. You, you promote this to your people and you buy yourself out after a year or two. Jay-Z never did it. So he then, you know, started suing Duce for like a billion or two billion dollars because he said they wasn't giving him, they owe him money basically. But they, they said, but the plan was you buy yourself out after a year or two. You didn't do it. He ended up winning the lawsuit, I guess, for, I think they said $700 million. But at the end of the day, this is what they do. They they put people as the face of, of these products. And it's like, all right. Once they get a fan base, it's like, all right, cool. We want, we want our product back. Please. Hey, one of his quotes is, don't be afraid to give up the good to go for the great. Like, what did he mean by that? Yeah. You feel me? He, but, like, you know, yeah. like, and I'm going to see how I'm pulling some more. Cause that's not the one I was looking for. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's so, it's so much going on and like people only see it's like tunnel vision you yeah. think about it it's like tunnel vision they only see what the tunnel is showing them like straight ahead you know you know round circle straight ahead you know? like and then but like if you look at the past that you see the bigger picture like you be like oh my god what's going on and like i see the bigger picture you got you got people going missing you got people you got you got you got you got serial people out there you got you got governments with their agendas you got you got you got families that been around for hundreds of years with their agendas it is there so much going on you got wars you got forest fighter fires you know you got whole cities being burned down you got black cities underwater you got black cities that been burned down you feel me it, it just it's just so much that's going on in the world, world. And like you got a whole town in Texas where it's known that they kill black people and they hunt black people with dogs, but yet it's still a prominent city in the world. Why haven't the government said, yo, y'all crazy? We taking y'all land. Well, Texas is predominantly white, mm-hmm. except for parts like Houston. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, we even got some parts of Texas, like Plano, that's like still kind of like the old Western movies you see on TV, mm-hmm. where they have the, the bars and the screen and all that. Uh, we know somebody that, that moved to Wisconsin, and they the stories they tell, like black people are just messed up in general. For me, mess up in general. They all like how he described it. They all look alike because they all look alike. They um, they 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 all in poverty. Um, he won't go to um 
um, what's what's the city in in, 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 in Wisconsin? Waukesha. No, the city part. Um, like, where, where the basketball team play at? In Wisconsin, or Milwaukee. Milwaukee. He's not even going to Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, you know, and like, but it's so much opportunity out there. It's so much opportunity. You get paid more out there than you would get out here. Well, yeah. Yes. And like, but people, like, but the, the mindset, the mindset out here, people are not going for it, you know, and I, I can understand that. Why would you want to work for somebody? You feel me? Yeah. Why you, why would you want to make somebody else richer? It's always going to be like that when you move to these city, uh, to these city areas. Um, you know, because at the end of the day, it's more expensive to live in those areas. So. You know, they're going to have the better paying jobs and the better paying, you know, careers out there. Yeah. But yeah, but like, but like the point I was making though was if he able to do that from a good, leaving one state by himself yeah. to do that and achieve all that, just achieve everything he had achieved so far in what, less than a year. Like you got people that live in that city that didn't achieve that. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. They still out there robbing yeah. people. They still out there breaking people homes. They still. Uh, they, I don't know if any of that is going on. No, no. It's, um, Milwaukee is known for the Kia Boys, if you know what that is. Mm-hmm. Like the Kia Boys, you know, basically a TikTok video was posted and um, showing how people could break into cars with an iPhone um, yeah. charger. Yeah. So, so Milwaukee is one of the, the, the most popular places for that. And you put the Kia Boys. And like, um, so that's what I'm trying to say. Like they still have to do that, but where they could get a job paying twenty three dollars an hour in a year, they could save twenty grand. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of people just like that fast money. They don't want to work for anything, but it don't last. It doesn't. It last. doesn't last. It doesn't last. It's like the quicker you get the money, the quicker you spend the money. Yeah. But when you earn that money and when you spend you time building it. it up, then you. It's like, nah, you know what? You might have been saving up to buy a bag or a coat. And once you get that money, it's like, I want a little nah, bit more. I want I'm, still, bit more. I'm gonna just keep saving. I'm just gonna keep saving. Yeah. You then know? I'm gonna buy it. Yeah. It, it just, but unfortunately, when it comes to people, people was always looking to make a quick dollar and not looking to work and earn a dollar. I want to talk about what um what we were talking about in the last episode um like like right now we've been talking for a minute and I've been trying to watch what I say the whole time it was like and that's crazy that I gotta watch what I say I can't just be bluntly honest and um and I, I find that I find that crazy like that th- th- this this world is supposed to be I understand it's guidelines you got once you once you sign out to these um platforms. You gotta sign contracts and stuff like that. So, you know, so the policies and stuff like that. I understand that. You know, if you don't like it, don't sign up. But like, why, why censor us? Like, really, why censor us? Like, what, what are we doing so wrong? But you could show the Grammys, clips of the Grammys, you know, but you could show, you, you, you could, you could advertise. Products that's that's harmful for people, like, and then when people realize it's harmful to them, you like, oh, I'm a I'm a sensitive, you know, like. Well, I feel like that's what you know, people like Kanye and Trump have been saying like, that freedom of speech. We don't have that freedom no more. They they say, oh yeah, you have you know you have student freedom of speech, but. So why my sister and, and what I have to say? It makes no sense to me. That's not freedom of speech. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not the land of the free, home of the brave. It's, it's none of that. It's none of that at all. And 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 like, I think everything, even even everything, gotta be re re rewritten. Or oh, everything like, like, even if I had like a church or something like that, you feel me? I wouldn't read from the regular Bible. 
I would actually read the, the, the old old scripts yeah. from back in the day. You feel me? And like and like and I would hire somebody to actually make a Bible from that. You feel me? Yeah. Like for me, that's accurate. You feel me? Like because the old Bible is accurate. Yeah, but I'm saying I'm saying, but like it's on another language. So it's about learning Aramaic and, and, and Greek and coin Greek and all that, you know, and then read from there. But my audience, not my, 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 my proficiencies wouldn't be able to read it. You understand what I'm saying? I would have to translate it into English. You feel me? But, but like, but like those strips was written, was rewritten several times into what we got to Bible now. Yeah. But now imagine if you rewriting it, rewrite it from the, from now, the strip that they had now. You feel me? I, I always say like, I don't, I don't, I don't believe in this Bible that we have because at the end of the day, it's been whitewashed. Um, it's, it's, it's telling, it's telling the story in a, in a different manner, in a different way. And we don't know which way. When we, when we read that that King James version, you know, that's why they call it King James version. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I he I he King James lived in a different era. He was a black man, you know. Even though they want you to know that, you mm-hmm. know, but like, but it was no such thing as race back then. Yeah, but now that there's a t- a, a word. For race and a definition for it, it 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 takes it to a whole nother level, and like and like I don't understand. Like I have been to church, and like last time I've been to church, I was I would actually try to be faithfully into the church, mm-hmm. and and like it was just certain stuff I couldn't just I couldn't just live myself with. Like for example, I had to go to the bishop car and carry his Bible while I'm carrying this man Bible. You feel me? Like you, like I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to describe. What it's supposed to be like, you know? It's just, it's just crazy that it's I like he's a king and you're a peasant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like I, I gotta carry this man by me, and I'm not getting paid for it. You know, you know. Churches, see, some of these churches look at you, you know? mm. and it's crazy. I'm tired of seeing people. Tired of seeing people give their last dollar. You know. Um, to the church and the preachers and stuff is turning around and, you know, spending it on expensive car payments, uh, clothes, jewelry. It, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Cause I just don't agree with like, that. Cause like you older than me and your mother was more into the church than I, my mother was. Mm-hmm. And, you know, she was like, she was into it right earlier than my mother was. And like, in my life, it was only one good pastor, Pastor Brown. Mm-hmm. He the only pastor that actually gave his money back to his professionals. Mm-hmm. He took them on trips, free of charge, then charge them not a dime. Yeah, even like birthday part, birthdays came up. He made sure the kids went on a went on, went on trips. You know, mm-hmm. like like you you needed a dollar, like he give you a hundred. <laughs> like, it's just, you know. Imagine you actually had Chicago Walker for a hundred dollars. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, oh, TD Jakes for a hundred dollars. You feel me? Like, it's just, you know, but Pastor Brown, he did that. You feel me? God bless his soul. You feel me? One man had, um, Hezekiah Walker. I went to his church when I was younger. It was my mom's. Took me to all these different churches. But, um, went to his church and they had two ATMs in the back of the church. And I'm like, this is crazy. So you telling me the people not only have to pay tithes and offering, but they have to pay a fee to get this money out of the ATM machine. Like, that's crazy. That's owned by the church. It's crazy. Or the pastor. <laughs> so they get in this ATM fee. Then you, then you do, work, then you do a job and the pastor had an invoice for a bit. Yeah. Yeah. I was installing some security cameras in this church. And I look on the desk and I see a bill from Bentley for five hundred thousand dollars. And I'm like, this is crazy. That's bananas. That's why 
I don't need that. I just don't agree with some of these churches. Yeah, like, like I said, like I'm thir- I'm 36 years old, and like like oh, Pastor Brown is the only one I seen give back to his profession. Like he didn't just take, he didn't drive a Mercedes and all that, you know. No, even if he did, like I said, he gave back. Like my sister went on plenty of trips. I went on plenty of trips. The whole church went on plenty of trips. Yeah. Free of charge. Mm-hmm. 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 But back to what I was saying earlier, I, I was watching this video, and they basically were saying. And then it's like I hate Jay Z is basically trying to get to get it in law where you can't use rappers lyrics against them. And I'm like, why? Like, I don't understand this agenda right here to to keep this problem going. I don't understand this whole bell reform where if a person, you know, commits a crime, they're back out on the street. I just, it's, this whole agenda to me just sounds crazy. And I know what they are trying to do, but. Mm. Nah, they're not they're trying to make it Babylon. I, if you believe in I, that. I, I feel like they're trying to get the crime at a certain level. To the point where they're gonna be like, okay, listen, martial law. Yeah, we have to implement this martial law now because mm. we've seen them experiment with martial law during Corona. Yeah, so we know that's in their plans. So. Yeah, you know, you gotta be careful with that word, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I I see people use it, but at the end of the day, you know, I see. I I, I my thing is. Why are you experimenting with this? Why are you trying it out? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Is it not enough police out here on the street? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't understand. Yeah, it's like it's like they want to lower the cities. They want lower the cities, and like you already got a couple of them. You got Chicago. If you if the cops don't see you as you commit the crime, you get away with it. I was um, watching this thing about um, AI in China, and China has built one of the first surveillance states, uh, surveillance cities, where everything you do is under surveillance. And they said, we are going to be the first to implement it, and America is going to be the one to popularize it. So I'm like, huh? Mm-hmm. They got this planned out already. <laughs> like, I see. I don't know if it's true. We probably could try it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go get one. I'm gonna get an old phone. You know, probably buy one off the street or a couple off the street, and we gonna break it and see. Cause I seen a video. The person broke a phone on TikTok, and um, it had another camera and over behind the screen. No, no, no. Yeah. That's not true. Mm-hmm. So you want to, can you open a lot of phones? Yes. <laughs> Even modern day phones? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, no camera under the screen. If it's a camera under the screen, it's one of these new phones. The ones that, like, you see how the iPhone is, like, you know, I mean, yeah. Samsung ones, the camera is really kind of invisible. Mm-hmm. When you look at screen, mm-hmm. all you see is a picture of a full screen. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the camera is under the screen. Mm-hmm. So I mean, yeah, if it's like there's like where the um where the battery port is at, basically mm-hmm. like right here in the phone. Yeah, and, you know, like, I only seen it once. You know that? Like, yeah. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't be so quick to believe these TikToks that I see. Because I don't know, like I feel like TikTok, mm. Snapchat, Instagram, they took jokes to a whole new level. 
Like you don't know what's going on and all that shit. Yeah, that that's true. That's true. Like I you see you now show you the AI images. Yeah. Like of the people. Yeah. Like, you know, it, it just it it's just like um there's a video of a girl like um I only I, I watch her a lot you know because her content is different from other content I'm tag her in the video and um uh, her link you know, in the video um her content is different and she had and she was talking about how um how how when you give your face to to basically genealogy and then it's like it's a company where you could get, they give you a hundred grand for your likeness to put on AI, yeah, you know, for, in, for perpetuity. So that'd be forever. No. You know? But the thing is, yeah. they could do whatever. You might look down yeah. and you find yourself in some corner or yeah. something like that. Yeah. You know? and, and, the, and you got an AI, and you got AIs that's taking, taking pictures from online that you got, you got a company where, it's a company where you could, you could type in your name mm -hmm. and show you every image of you that's online. That's good. And, um, and um, it is like in the future. In the future, all our likenesses will be used for a purpose. And mm -hmm. if you think about it, to this day, people likenesses are still being used. Look at yeah. Albert Einstein. Yeah. He got he got he got commercials with people dressed like him on right now. Mm -hmm. You feel me? He been dead for like a hundred years. <laughs> yeah, you know, of gone for like a hundred years. Like that's what they you know. You know, and it's like, and and now it's technology. If it's not a if it's not a worldwide blackout where all all technology is wiped out, they they can use your likeness forever. Mm -hmm. for me. And for robots, because after you die, as pictures, like like when you when you go when you go to the store and and buy a, like you go to a cent store any store and buy a photo frame, there's a stock photo of a family in it. Who's that family? Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Is that a real family? Is that real people? Or is that some kind of digitally altered image that you got there and you say, yeah, look at this family. You should buy this. Yeah. 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 And this, this is a lot going on, you know. We got celebrities promoting poison, like, like McDonald's. You feel me? Yeah. And I walked past McDonald's the other day and I seen the, um, Cardi B all set, um, on mail. Like, why would I buy that? Just because it's called to be an offset? Like, because cause they black. <laughs> I'm not buying that. I don't eat McDonald's anymore. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like, you know, she should be eating that. He should be eating that. <laughs> yeah, um, there was a lady that put a McDonald's burger and fries in a shoebox for 20 years and took it out and still look the same. <laughs> And the, the meat was dried up and all that, but the bread wasn't molded. Nah. Nah. Now the fries are just, it's just, they I, look like they, regular fries and it's just hard. The, there's two cup, there's two companies that's mass produced food to, to the masses. And Cargill is the main one. Mm -hmm. They the biggest manufacturer, food manufacturer in the United States. Yeah. You know, and like, um, they supply Cisco. Cisco supply every restaurant in the United States. I work in food service. I've been a chef. I've been head chef at restaurant at British Airways. Cisco. Or Santos. Cisco. S Y S C O. Cisco. The computer company? No, it's it's a food company. Called mm -hmm. it's S Y S C O. Okay. It's a food company. They make everything from from cleaning supplies to to the food, French fries, that. I, 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 I work in a whole, I work in a law firm right now, in the kitchen law firm right now, and I do the receiving when the deliveries come. And when it comes, it says Cisco. <laughs> you know, and it's just, and, um, and they supply Cisco, supply McDonald's, and every rest, every restaurant I ever worked in, from British Airways to colleges. Yeah. But they probably got like, uh, a certain level of foods. They go like, okay, that's the good stuff right there. That goes here, that goes here, and they be too paying for good stuff. Mm -hmm. Then they got the, this artificial stuff. They be like, all right, this is going to go out to schools. <laughs> you yeah. know, like yeah. everybody that basically can't yeah. afford it. Yeah. You know? they, they can't, like, they can't make it. And yeah, exactly right. Cause like, 
um, where the people getting the meat? Where they putting the meat to make the um glue, the glue meat? You feel me? Like you feel me? They getting the meat from somewhere. Is it? It gotta be Cisco or Cargill. But Cargill is giving it to Cisco. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. You know? And then all these companies owned by Black Black Rock. Yeah. You know, it's just it's just so deep. You know. Um. Oh, Black Rock or Rengard. They're the only two. They're the two biggest companies in the world that own every company in the world. Yeah, I forgot what I was gonna say. You'll probably come back to me. Yeah, just like it's just it's been going on for so long, and then people people are afraid. Like, like black people in general, you got a lot of black people in general afraid to either speak out about the masses because what's going to happen to their career. You feel me? You know, Kanye what lost billions of dollars overnight. You know. You know, and people, you know, I know somebody that said that was impossible for us to happen to a, a billionaire. You feel me? But no, it can but, happen. I mean, this money isn't ours. It's like, just like these, these rappers, like, they don't own a lot of the stuff. The label owns it. The label gives it to them. It's in the label's name. So when the label drop you, it's like, all right, move out our house. Mm-hmm. You know, like, yeah. it's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, cause like, and that's, that's, look, that's so crazy you say that. Like, um, I worked at a concert recently and, um, not recently, but you no, know, a couple months ago it was a, it was a Mike Chemical Romans concert and, um, they had, um, it was a jacket I really, really liked. I really, really liked. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, everybody, um, um, working in the kitchen and I, I got so caught up, I, I forgot to go downstairs and buy the jacket. And, um, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go online and find a jacket. Couldn't find a jacket. But I found out the order my kid for moments merchandise is sold by Warner Brothers. So you gotta go to the Warner Brothers website just to buy their merchandise. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then I and I and that's I, the three sixty bill. Yeah. The three sixty bill is all right, cool. The label is gonna break you off some money, but we gonna sell everything for you. And we gonna basically take a big percentage of this profit. But you you gotta get paid about 10 million, 15 million a year, you know? And, and that's the thing, right? Yeah, and like, um, and like, and I actually looked into the deal. It's like, so basically, um, basically any merch that's not so go to the next concert, as if it don't sell out, the, um, the label will put it on websites and all that. The Bike of the only get about 20% of that merch. Yeah. Um, you know, cause I really wanted the jacket, so I actually researched everything <laughs> into the shit. But like, um, and I still get the jacket because like, um, it's like three hundred dollars online right now, and it was only like a hundred eighty dollar jacket. It's a crazy world we live in. That's the that's what Kanye be talking about, and people want to say Kanye's crazy. And I seen a post. It's, it's like they call me crazy, but they never quote me a liar. <laughs> you know, it's like this is facts. This is facts. They never call Kanye a liar. They call him a lot of day hateful, you know, but like never a liar. But like Kanye, like Kanye could Kanye could have handled that totally different. And well, like my thing is Kanye thought he was bigger than what he was. Mm-hmm. Because when he went on Drink Champs, he said, I could say anti Semitic stuff, and Adidas still can't let me go. And they dropped it. Mm-hmm. It's like, he dropped it. But now it's like they're begging for him back. Mm-hmm. You know, but yeah, because like, they need him. They, they need him. It's like Kanye, Kanye's mind, he thinks so futuristic that it's like his products, you can't keep. A person like Kanye down can't do it. You just can't do it. It's impossible. But they are working out a new deal with him to get the, I guess, the remainder of the sneaker sold. Mm-hmm. But ah, yeah, I've seen videos of people buying the new stuff and it's still got easy name on it. There's an easy name on it and all that. Yeah. But like, um, but I also seen some recently. You know, but like, it's yeah. so much fake stuff out there. I don't know these people's sneakers or if your stuff is real or not. Because yeah. my thing is, how do you take back this man's money 
when he made you a bunch of money already. So some of that money is legally his. Mm -hmm. Like, how are you going to take yeah. back yeah. everything? Like, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. That, that you gave him a certain amount. It's like, this is, you know, that's crazy to me. The lay on Roberta. You said do Roberta? Yeah. That's crazy. Like, everybody terminated their deal with Kanye. And it's like, but y'all sold some of his stuff already. Y'all owe that man money. A lot of money. It's just, and the fact that they was able to do that, you know, it got no repercussions. It, it's just, it's crazy. And like, and, and like, and like you said, people call him crazy. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, we gotta do stuff. And that's what he's doing now. He's doing everything himself now. He, he designing himself. He, he, um, producing it himself. He, um, distributing it himself. Yeah. And, and like, and that's what every person should do. And, and our circumstances. Because, and then like, like, if I have any kind of money, like I said, if I have any kind of money, like tiny kind of money, um, um, Eli Musk kind of money, I'm building a black city. And, you know, I'm building a black city from the ground up, you know, little by little, you know, hospital, school, library, um, um, a hotel, um, resort, um, built, um, apartments, houses. And, you know, eventually I'll get the skyscrapers, you know, and, you know, small little city. And everything, like, cause like I said, I've been in Toto, I've been in Toto, Oklahoma. Um, and I've been in this city is probably like 20 blocks but from, and I'm just, I'm just, I do only seen it from the car, but the whole time I was there, I, I never seen it. I only seen it when I was going to the airport in OKC. From Tulsa, but like it was very, the city is very small and the building is not as high as, as some of these uh, um, project buildings. You know, it wasn't, it didn't go that high. Yeah. 